Welcome back to Restaurant Food Fast, everybody. I'm Chuck, and I'm Ward, and he's not talking today, so it's going to be a good episode. If you're lucky. Yeah. All right, today we are going to cook a carbonara, the real way. Something I've been asked for a couple times, just haven't got around to doing it. Um, you can get carbonaras out. Most of the time, they're not going to be uh, real carbonara because you the sauce is made from egg. Um, the heat of the pasta cooks it into a, a thick sauce, but since there's a big scale of salmonella, basically you get spaghetti with scrambled eggs in it when you order it out. So we're going to show you how to do it the real way today. And it's traditionally just pasta with bacon and peas, and that's it. So it's another real quick, real simple one. Um, you want some of the bacon fat, so I'm just going to cut down and you do Two pounds of pasta, so I'm going to use one pound of bacon um, and some of the grease, not all of it. Uh, again, I'm just rendering it. I uh, want, want some of the fat, want little pieces of bacon in it. So it's basically the same way you did the halushi. Yes. That's all you had to say. Just saying. Apparently you're not. That's why I had to ask. So I'm just taking three eggs, I'm going to just kind of mix them up a little bit. The sauce for this is just eggs and oil. That's it. And the heat of the pasta when it comes out, we'll cook this and you'll see when we're done. So yes, I haven't been on Twitter. Not at all. I really haven't even looked at it for a while. Well, we got a whole bunch of uh, followers on Twitter, which is really cool. And eventually, he'll do something to, that gives you something to follow. Just rendering the bacon down. It's not, um, you know, nothing major. Got the pan on hot, throw it all in, let it cook down. When it gets nice and crisp, you want it to be real crisp. Um, like I said before, with the lishki and everything else we put in, when it's, you got to have it really, really crisp because when you put it back with moisture, it's going to soften it up again. So if you don't, if you make it, you know, if you like to eat bacon soft and cook it that way, it's going to end up almost with a raw texture when you put it in the carbonara, and you don't want that. Bacon is almost done. I am going to dump in the pasta. Could you do this with like a linguine? Sure can. Do it with whatever pasta you like. Bacon is done. Okay, separate bowl for bacon. It should smell almost burnt. You don't want to burn it, you don't want it to be bitter, but you, you want it to be really crunchy. Because once it hits the, the moisture of the pasta, it's going to... It's going to soften right back up again, and if you don't do this, you're going to end up with soggy bacon. Yuck. Traditionally, there's no onions in it. I just, I like onions, and I have them, so. Mm. 
just putting them all together to kind of pull some of that bacon flavor off the pan. A little bit of caramelization going. Back, you've got screaming hot pasta. Take these. This has some of that bacon grease in it. Olive oil. About that much for now. this around a little bit. Get the pasta coated with the olive oil. Now comes the fun part. This is where you got to add the egg without it trying to scramble. So basically you have to add it and turn it and pull it and make it make a sauce and don't scramble it. See it the shine. The egg is thoroughly cooked. Do not let anybody try and fool you that it isn't. That pasta was 210 degrees. You know, a little less. It's cooked. Now you adjust your sauce, a little more oil, to give it the consistency you want. Grated cheese. And pepper. Nice big pot of carbonara. This is one of the most asked for dishes that um, I do at home when people come over. Um, they love this and the fra diablo. Don't know why. Something about the tomato basil cream sauce they like and then this is, it's because it has bacon. This has lots of bacon and everybody loves bacon. Bacon is always better. Yep. So you can see it's nice, it's shiny, it's glistening, has a nice sauce on it. It's got a nice, good, thick olive oil taste to it. The egg just adds richness and the bacon. Um, I've made this with more bacon fat. Um, it does, it of course gives you more smoke flavor, not quite the traditional carbonara, but it tastes great. The only problem is with leftovers, it congeals into one big mass of bacon fat that you have to reheat, and it's kind of yucky when it's cold. But this, on the other hand, is uh, just absolutely wonderful stuff. Quick, good lunch. Um, not what I would consider light, just because of the, the egg, the fat makes it heavy. Um, but as far as pastas go, it's not drenched in sauce, you know what I mean? It's not a, a red sauce or a Alfredo, something like that. So, this is a nice, nice lunch. Remember, you can find us on our website at restaurantfoodfast.com. Yep. You can shoot us an email at restaurantfoodfast at gmail.com. You can hit us on Twitter if Chuck will ever start answering them at restaurant underscore food. Ward answers them, believe me. If it's a, I get them, if we're, if it's a question that, that is not dealing with the podcast, it deals with the food, Ward makes sure I get it. He, he, yeah. Yeah, harasses me until I do. He he will he will answer any food questions yeah. that come up on Twitter. Uh, Without a doubt, pretty much I will answer anything podcast related as far as what kind of equipment we use. Blah 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 blah. Um, if you would have, if you'd like to know, just uh, make sure if you're going to do a food question on Twitter, make it an app so yes. I know it's there. Yes, hit us up at restaurant underscore food. That's pretty much it. So, yeah. Till next week, I'm Ward, and I'm not. It's restaurant food fast, and we're out.